Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. It is the evening of uh, December 20th, 2020. It's about 9 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time here in Central Ohio. I'm getting ready to run a few extra EU reports. First one is going to be of, uh, actually probably three. I'm going to be running one for us. first here with uh, Sweden. We're going to do one for uh, Latvia and Lithuania. I think some the two of the look at here. So here you can, you can see our, our report. Oh, before we get started, one more thing. I want to thank you uh, people who, who are continuing to support this report by, by viewing it every day or every other day. I do have one request. That's, that's that you uh, smash that subscribe button. Subscribe to the Cable Data Science Channel. And also, click on the description below. You'll see a link that says, uh, buy me a coffee. Well, I'd appreciate that if you if you click on the link and maybe just contribute $5 to be getting a cup of coffee today, all right? So let's go and let's just take a look at the report piece by piece. Load the data as always, or load the libraries, load some data. Let's take a look at daily cases. Okay, so these are daily cases. You can see Sweden's cases are continuing to climb. There's a lot of volatility for some reason or others. Could be as a this may give a little better picture. It's climbing. Cases are above six thousand, close probably closer to uh probably closer to seven thousand, eight thousand. Let's take a look at deaths. You can see this is one view of the deaths here. You can see there's a lot of volatility, which suggests that they, they may not be reporting on a regular basis or something like that. Take a look at, that, at this here. The trend is generally upward. Okay. The trend in cases is upward. All right. So now let's take a look at some weekly numbers for Sweden. Okay, let's start with cases. You can see weekly cases have been studied have been studied increases since about September on a weekly basis, which isn't good. Deaths are are well above the average line, the red line here. So that's not particularly good. Even had a, a spike at, last week was the uh, most deaths in probably one, two, three, four, five, five or six weeks. Last week was the most deaths in five or six weeks. Let's come down here, take a look at uh, monthly cases and deaths. We can see that uh, December is the highest number of death cases so far. While deaths. Um, well, currently, you know, December's deaths is in third place for the most deaths, approaching uh, 1,000, approaching, you know, uh, 1,500 here, all right, approaching 1,500 deaths. That's about a week and a half to go. So next, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to compare Sweden and the EU. We're going to be, we're going to be comparing Sweden's numbers to, to, to other countries that have a population between 9 million and 12 million, okay? I just calculate some summary numbers here. Okay. So these are the five countries with the uh, with, with the population closest to Sweden. And you can see that currently, out of these one, two, three, six countries, one, two, three, four, yeah, of the six countries, uh, Sweden ranks fifth as the second most cases uh all these five countries although it has a although it does have a long way to go to catch Chechia. What about deaths? Whatever reason deaths isn't working here. Okay, we need to take a look at that some point. See what's really going on. Let's take a look at these numbers here. So what we're doing here is we're, we're comparing. This is this is a split out of the. Uh, of 
by country for these six EU countries. And you can see Sweden's, you can see Sweden had a huge spike here. Now it's falling back down. And Czech just seems to be just a little behind Sweden in terms of the, of the spike of the deaths. Okay. Let's take, or these are cases, I'm sorry. Let's take a look at that uh, case of uh, deaths now. You can see Sweden. About 100 deaths per day. But Belgium and Chechia had the, has had the worst. Well, even this, Hungary have had worse death totals than, than Sweden has. Mortality rate, maybe so we can get a mortality rate. No, we can't. All right. Need to come back and check this one this days. But what's so what's the basic picture here? Not particularly good. Cases and deaths are both continuing to rise. Uh, all this shows a fall off here, which probably isn't correct. All right. So anyway, you know, Sweden needs to needs to buckle down a little bit, as we say in the U.S., and uh, continue to work to get this uh, COVID nineteen under control in their country. So that concludes the report for Sweden for today. Be back in a moment with the Raftia and Lithuania.